All right, I'm working on an automatic drive-through window closer that they're saying just doesn't operate properly. So when I got here and turned it on, it will recognize you and it will open. And then it takes a very, very long time to close. Sometimes it would hang up getting closed. So uh, I pulled the service manual on it and these dip switches in here, these control uh, the size of the window because it's a universal thing, right? So if this is a 24 inch window, you can program it for a 30 inch window, how far it pulls open. And the other one is actually a delay. So the delay was set for 13 seconds. 13 seconds is a long time when it comes to waiting for a window to close. Uh, the default is three seconds to a second and a half. So I adjusted that. Also, um, while I have this open, because I've got I've to gotta put this back up to show you what the real problem was, I have gel lubricated up the actual chain itself, the pulleys to try and enable smoother operation there. Uh, and I have lubricated up the actual track itself. As you can just hear, this door is just dragging and that's hurting the motor. So we need to give it as smooth of operation as we can. So the motor isn't struggling because there's a, there's a sensor that's tripping that the motor starts to move and it gets hung up and it actually stops for a minute, kind of very quickly overloads and resets itself and then keeps going. So yeah, let me put this back together and I'll show you. So an additional problem that was taking place is that, so this shield is over all of the electronics there. Uh, and then this is the actual eye. The eye is adjustable, angled this way and left to right. And so the indicators will tell you when you're cueing it in, when it sees you. So backing out and looking at the window, we don't, I'm gonna stand here while I'm ringing up. The computer's right here. So the eye was angled out to where it would pick up right here. So I dialed it in so it actually starts only inside the window. And uh, let me show you what I mean. Let me turn this on. All right, it goes to an automatic close state. I'm gonna put my foot right against that wall and it doesn't go off. Now when I step to the window, it opens. Now I have it set for three seconds and they close. So it's like a compounding problem. Um, the motor is struggling. Like uh, this says that this unit's from 2005. I don't know whether that's the window itself or the, uh, the opening unit. And there's no way for me to denote that. Uh, I don't think this is that old because just technologically, I don't think it's that old. So now, again, I'm working the cash register. My shoulder hit the window, so it opened. But as soon as I turn and walk away, it closes. I can still stand here. So combo, this was picking you up whenever you were near the window. And it stayed open for 13 seconds. So the whole time I stood here, it recognized me. And... Then it just stayed open all day, which made them think it wasn't working, but it was working. Plus, again, it was horrifically dragging. Uh, it's dragging much less now. So do you see that little hiccup? That's where the motor dragged. So, I'm actually gonna open it up and get a part number off the motor because I would suggest if you really want this long term, yeah, see, got hung up again. We replaced the motor, but health department requires that uh, windows are self-closing for pest intrusion issues. Yeah, see, the, uh, I don't know if you saw where it said current detect. When it's opening, if that goes off, let's see this, okay. That's legit the motor struggling. That's not a systemic problem. get info on the motor but yeah um, also when I put this on um, it goes completely wonky it doesn't sense me half the time this isn't dirty or anything so I don't know why this you know it's and it's an infrared thing uh, I'll, I'm gonna clean it real good and try and put it on again and see but 
I don't know whether there's a crack in it. I don't know whether if light gets in, that's a problem. But we may need to get a new cover just to keep it from being stupid, so. All right, give me a second. All right, so. still pulling a little too much power. I would suggest replacing it, but now we'll run the day, see how she does. Um, I am also still gonna leave, oh, let's put this on and see. Let's see if it, it behaves now. Hang on. Okay, the non-crazy in-depth explanation is there is settings inside that adjust the angle of the blade, the uh, lens, which was too far out. The lens was picking up right here. So, um, it didn't want to close most of the time anyway. Secondly, there's a time delay in there, what it's programmed for, and it's programmed for 13 seconds. So the window would open, and then I could even step away, but it's picking me up, and it'd have to wait 13 seconds. So now it's set for three seconds, which is the factory default. And I don't even have to step away. I just have to lean in from the window and it closes. I did this for about 15 minutes and then the motor or the window started getting really herky jerky. So I got on to the tech sheet to find out what was going on with that. And um, that's the motor over amping. So I actually checked it. And then there is a sensitivity level in there as far as when do you want it to shut out? Do you want it to shut out just when it's actually critically over amping or when it's just is misbehaving a little bit and it was set super sensitive? So that would make sense. For 20 minutes it worked great, then the motor heated up um, and started pulling a little too much power. So I turned the sensitivity down and now I'm running open, close, open, close, open, close. So I'd like to run this for the day and then get a report on how it does. Uh, I would suggest replacing the motor. Uh, it is a couple hundred bucks. I looked it up uh, to get the deal on that. But yeah, that's the scoop. Okay, the non-crazy in-depth explanation is there is settings inside that adjust the angle of the blade, 
the uh, lens, which was too far out. The lens was picking up right here. So, um, it didn't want to close most of the time anyway. Secondly, there's a time delay in there, what it's programmed for, and it's programmed for 13 seconds. So the window would open, and then I could even step away, but it's picking me up, and it'd have to wait 13 seconds. So now, it's set for three seconds, which is the factory default, and I don't even have to step away, I just have to lean in from the window, and it closes. I did this for about 15 minutes, and then the motor, or the window started getting really herky-jerky. So I got on to the tech sheet to find out what was going on with that, and um, that's the motor over amping. So I actually checked it, and then there is a sensitivity level in there as far as when do you want it to shut out? Do you want it to shut out just when it's actually critically over amping or when it's just mis misbehaving a little bit? And it was set super sensitive. So that would make sense. For 20 minutes, it works great. Then the motor heated up um, and started pulling a little too much power. So I turned the sensitivity down and now I'm running open, close, open, close, open, close. So I'd like to run this for the day and then get a report on how it does. Uh, I would suggest replacing the motor. Uh, it is a couple hundred bucks, I looked it up. Uh, I'd give a deal on that, but yeah, that's the scoop.